watched my videos in the past, then you know one of the things I talk about a lot is the left's ability to rationalize just about anything and how that makes them pretty dangerous. This is exactly the kind of thing I'm talking about. I've been saying for years that it won't be long before they're trying to round us all up or worse. These people want to rid themselves of all political opposition, and they're increasingly willing to promote violence and assault against anybody to the right of Karl Marx. Yesterday on The View, co-host Joy Behar claimed that Republicans are breaking the law by allegedly shielding Trump and that they should, quote, all be thrown in jail. That's right. Joy Behar wants to round up all of her political opposition and throw them in jail simply because they oppose Democrat efforts to impeach Trump. This is an unbelievable corrupt, corrupt president, corrupt administration, and the Republican Party is right behind him, and they all should be thrown into jail as far as I'm concerned. Well, I'm, I'm actually... How about that roaring audience applause? This is exactly what I'm talking about when I say that they can rationalize anything. I'm sure that in their heads it makes perfect sense just to lock up anybody that you disagree with politically. That's why they claim we're all Russian bots who want to destroy democracy and why they say we want to destroy the planet and oppress anybody who isn't white. It's all just a justification for the censorship and the violence they want to impose on us. Make no mistake, the left is becoming increasingly extreme, and we're already seeing those left-wingers with power lock down the flow of information on the internet and censoring their opposition. We're also seeing it on university campuses where conservatives are kept from speaking because left-wingers will inevitably show up and use violence to shut it all down. Hmm, there's a name that we have for that, and I, I can't quite think of what it is. It, it, it's on the tip of my tongue. We're also seeing it in Hollywood, where they're actively promoting violence against conservatives and painting anybody with conservative ideals as a far-right Nazi or a white supremacist. Again, this is all part of their rationalization for using violence. They have to turn us into the worst monsters that they can imagine in order to justify their actions. The same thing's happening in the media where anybody who doesn't toe the line is labeled far-right propaganda and is attacked as a threat to democracy. A lot of people, I think, bear responsibility for creating this hateful climate. Think about the right-wing media machine, especially Fox News. Now, we're even seeing corporations and businesses actively promoting the use of violence against anybody they disagree with. This beer company thought it would be hip and cool to incite their followers to use bricks against people that they deem fascist. After posting these threats of violence, they hilariously complained on Twitter that people were sending them threats. Again, the lack of self-awareness here is real. Even Burger King saw fit to tweet out their support for throwing milkshakes at people that they disagree with. Sure, throwing a milkshake isn't brutal, but it's still assault. Even this elderly veteran isn't safe from these attacks. He was just standing at a polling station minding his own business when some soy-infused butterface decided to assault him with a milkshake. I wonder if Burger King would be okay with people buying milkshakes and then throwing them at their employees, or perhaps their corporate leadership. I have a sneaking suspicion that their opinions of throwing milkshakes would suddenly change. Protesters in Britain have weaponized the milkshake. And the, I'm sure it feels great. I'm yeah. sure people love the yeah. feeling and right. the pictures fly around the world. Right. Again, not to constantly repeat myself, but do any of these people ever consider their standards flipped around on them? Do these people think it would be funny if someone ran up and threw an unknown substance on them? Of course, if this were the other way around, the reporting would be slightly different. It found that far-right plots and attacks outnumber Islamist incidents by almost two to one. Seriously, it's like they're all programmed with the prime directive of It's always different when we do it. You don't come and we subpoenaed you? If I see you rolling down the street in the car, I'm supposed to come, I'm supposed to get, take you to jail. You Are we in some alternate dimension where Eric Holder, Obama's self-labeled wingman, didn't ignore congressional subpoenas to testify in regards to Operation Fast and Furious? So strange that Whoopi had no opinion of that when it happened. At least, I did an extensive search for any quote relating to Eric Holder ignoring the subpoenas, and I couldn't find a single thing. In fact, you'll be hard-pressed to find any negative media coverage of that. What you will find is the media and the Democrats coronating on attacking Republicans as performing theater. When Republicans tried to hold Eric Holder in contempt for ignoring those subpoenas, Democrats walked out of the vote. At the time, CNN actually went after the few Democrats that didn't walk out and began accusing them of being NRA stooges. 
straight to this. Why'd you go against your party? The White House called this vote a political stunt. Uh, you went ahead and voted in favor of contempt. Why? So the National Rifle Association, um, they said today's vote, they're going to look at it when giving letter grades. I know you got an A on the last scorecard, and I know they've given you about $19,350. You see, when a Democrat ignores a congressional subpoena, the media accuses the Republicans of pulling a political stunt to hold the AG in contempt. But when the roles are reversed, the media takes the side of Democrats and contradicts their previous position. My point here is that once again, Democrats and the media want to hold Republicans to these standards that they never intend to hold themselves to. It's a rigged game, and because of that, we have to continue refusing to play that game. Remember this CNN clip the next time you see the media or Democrats raging about Republicans and Trump evading the law. Their only agenda at this point is to rid themselves of all political opposition, one way or the other, and clearly they're willing to go all the way. Turn off your TV and let me watch these fools so you don't have to.